Hi everyone, today we're going to be tying the Bob Hopper. Alright, I'm going to be tying up my go to hopper pattern. This hopper floats like a cork, you can fish it all day. If you want to see how well it fishes, I encourage you to check out my recent creek fishing video. Went out to central Utah and caught some really nice browns and cutthroats on this pattern. So to get started, I've got a Firehole Sticks 618 foam nymph hook. This one's a size 8. I'm going to be tying in my materials with 140 denier brown olive UTC thread. You need 140 denier for this because we kind of really crank down on some of the wraps. So you need some thread that's not going to break on you. To get started, just I'm going to build up a bit of a thread base on my hook. We're going to be super gluing the foam body to the shank of the hook so we need a little bit of thread build up to give a base that the super glue can attach to. Once we build up a few wraps back and forth, just coat your thread wraps with some super glue. And then I have this two-tone foam body that I've super glued together and I've cut a little slot in the bottom so I can kind of push this hook up into the foam. You don't need to use this exact hook. Any down eye dry fly hook will work. Once you got this foam body on there pretty well, we have our threads in the back, and then we want to take some hard wraps around the foam body and build up quite a few. Quite a few wraps. Then what I've done here is I've taken some living rubber. Here's the living rubber. I use this for tying bass jigs, but I've taken two strands of it and kept them together, made a knot, just an overhand knot, and put a little bit of super glue on the knot so it'll hold. So we're gonna take these and then put the knot right about at the end of the tail. Tie these in. Pull them tight. Then do one on the other side. Oh, right at the end of the tail. You good. Wraps locking it in. Off tag. So you see that the legs are pointed pretty perpendicular to the body. We need to take some more super glue and just put a touch right on the edge of the where the leg contacts the foam to make them kind of angle back we'll keep them in place so they move towards the back of the body next we're gonna take our thread and do one wrap over the top almost to the eye of the hook but not White. I'm 
You want to leave yourself a little bit of room to the eye of the hook. Leaving room, then make a few hard wraps around the foam. We next take this web wing material, cut a piece a little thicker than the top of the body and a little longer, tie it in. Looks kind of tie it in, and we're going to take another wrap back down to our original tie in, and bring your thread back up. What you want to do now is take your scissors and cut a little point shape at the back of this. That'll kind of be a little bit of an underwing for the hopper. Next, we take some deer hair. Already got some. Good. Any color will work, green, natural. Measure about a good amount of wing. Make a couple wraps, make sure everything's kind of staying on top. Pull up, crank down pretty hard. Just kind of go through it, lock it in. Next, we need to just trim off all the butt ends. So go in there and get a little out each cut. Roll out, go ahead and clean up as much of that. Tag end as you can. Then come in here. Yarn post material. And white or whatever will allow you to see it best. Wraps and get it right in the middle on top. Crank down on it. Come in here with some scissors and cut it a little shorter than the. And then you can kind of fan it out. It'll look almost like a. Parachute type thing going on there. We then take single strands of this living rubber, tie 
iron some legs. Adjust them how you want them. Wrap to secure him. Then lift the head of the hopper up, make a couple of turns on the eye. Then come in here with a six turn whip finish. Get in. Then Snip it off. At this point, come back here to your legs and separate them. And then you want to cut the top one off. Do the same thing to the other side. One off pretty close. Come back here. Back legs off. Now those look more upper leg. -like. Come in here and off our front legs. Like him. And then that's it for what's in the vise. I have one more step after this though. I pull the fly off the vise or if you've got flip it over. And then I take a fine tip sharpie. Here's what the bottom of the fly will look like. Take a fine tip sharpie, but give it an eye side. And then Give it dots. All down. Belly of the hopper. In the end, it'll look like That. That's it. That's my Bob Hopper. <laughs> <laughs>